Hello folks, how are you all doing? Now, if you've been scripting for any amount of time, you'll of course be familiar with the humble script over here. We can add it into our game. We usually have these in the workspace or maybe sometimes in server script service. And if you add it in, you'll get the default print hello world template code. And if you click play, you'll of course find that text right down there in your output. Pretty simple stuff. But you may have noticed there's something else called a local script in the menu here. What is a local script? That is the subject of today's video. So if I click to add one in, I'll get exactly the same code inside, print hello world. It looks completely identical, but you'll notice if I click play again, down in the output, I'm not actually gonna see anything at all. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Shouldn't I be seeing that hello world text again? A local script's just broken scripts. What's going on? Well, in order to understand what local scripts are for, we need to know a little bit about computer networking. So when you play a game, you'll notice right here, we're actually, it says current client. But if I click here, I'll suddenly, I've got a free camera again, and I can look down on my player, and it says up there at the top, current server. So now I'm on the server. So when you play a game, you're an individual device connecting to the server, which is where everything is running, and is where your normal scripts, which from now on we're going to refer to these as server scripts, is where these run. Whereas local scripts will run on the individual player or the client who is connecting to the game. You can think of this like visiting a website. So if you go to roblox.com and you will get the website on your screen, but you're not actually suddenly in control of that website. So if you do something like inspect element and you change the text or change how much Robux you have, you don't really have that amount. You're just changing what the text says on your copy. And that's essentially what local scripts do. They don't change the server itself, but they change their copy. Now, back to the question on hand, why doesn't this local script run? Shouldn't it print that out? Well, the important thing about local scripts is they can only run in a few places. They have to run on the player, as we explained, and there's only a few folders where they can do that. These are starter GUI, starter pack, starter player, starter character scripts, and starter player scripts, because all of these folders are copied into the player when the game runs. So let's drag this local script down into starter player scripts. And then I'm gonna click play again. And now when we click play, we should see down the output, it says, hello world. So we know our local script is running. And if we look inside the Explorer, we click on players, we drop down into name code, player scripts, and we can see we've got a bunch of default scripts from Roblox itself, but the one that's just named local script that's our script that we just added in. So we, there we can see all of these folders, they get copied over. This is where we want our local scripts to run. But what would we actually want to use them for? Well, let me give a quick example. Let's say I add in a part here and I want just to make a big brick wall. Or how about we make some kind of uh, archway? How about that? But then we're gonna create a blockage in the tunnel We'll make this black and we're going to name this one, name this part entrance. Okay. So it's not a very exciting model, but there we go. We've got a little model up. And if in our local script, we can delete this and I say workspace dot entrance, referring to that black part we just created dot transparency equals one. And then I say workspace dot entrance dot and collide equals false. So we're going to disable the collisions on that part. And if I then click play again, we should see that entrance part suddenly disappear. And now we have our tunnel, which I can run through just fine. But if I go on the test tab and switch over to the server again, we'll see that, that part is actually still there. It's only invisible on the individual client's device. So we could run into the middle of the tunnel, but back on the server, it actually looks like we're still in the middle of this part. 
This is useful if you want to have an effect just apply to a single player, but not to everyone in the game. Now, the most common usage of local scripts is in your GUI. So if I add in, go to start the GUI, add in a screen GUI, and maybe I have some kind of frame and I have a, a button as well, okay? And when, actually let's delete this frame. And when we click this button, we want something to happen. Maybe we just want to print something to the output for now. Now I can't use a normal server script for this because these server scripts, as we're calling them from now on, they'll be running on the server. So they won't have access to the interactions of our actual device. So we need to use a local script so we can see what the actual player is doing. So then we can say script whoop, dot parent dot activated event connected into a function and then we can just print clicked. And now if we would click play, what we would see is whenever we click that button in the top left, it's underneath our chat bar at the minute, we click it, we're gonna see clicked down there in the output and then we could have whatever effects we liked, but it wouldn't take effect on the server. So let's flesh this out a little bit more. How about we set this entrance to visible like we did before when they click the button and we'll set the text to open as well. Open, there we go. We can move the button down here if we like so it's a bit more obvious. And this time, instead of just printing out, we could say workspace, dot entrance transparency equals one and we will make the collisions equal false again and now instead of just clicking play what I could do is I could open up a test server so we could click that I've got two players there I'm going to launch in with two separate player windows now this is eventually going to load in this is our server window we've got here. And then in a moment, our player one. Here we go, here's our player one. And here's our player two. So as we can see, we've got this wall here. We're not gonna be able to go through, but if we click this open button, it's gonna reveal itself and we can walk through. But on the other player, you can see it's still just a wall. And it's going to stay that way until he clicks his button and then he can walk through the tunnel as well so there we go hopefully that clears up some of your questions on what local scripts are for and how you can use them now one final question you might have is how could we communicate between our local scripts on the client and the server what if we wanted the player to click that button and that part to disappear for everyone across the entire game. Well, for that, you'd need to use something called remote events. And as it happens, I've got a whole other video on that topic. So go and check that out if you wish. But that's enough for now. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have, be sure to leave a like and why not consider subscribing? Thank you very much. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.